the Lord this year, whatever that belongs to you, the angels of the Lord will bring them down to you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Chochote unaitaji. Chochote unataka. They are our ministering spirits. They will minister the will of God in our lives. They will minister the word of God. And I told you, pray the word of God. Declare the word of God. Speak the word of God. Because when they hear the word, they run towards that word. In case you say by the stripes of Jesus I was healed. The angels of the Lord, the Bible says, they, they walk towards the word of the Lord. You cannot command them when you don't have the word. So speak the word. That's why we began 27 days of reading 27 chapters of the Bible. We are in the book of Acts. I believe all of you, you are reading. Make sure you are full of the word of God. Testimonies are coming. Miracles are going to happen in this house. And please put the word of God in your mouth. God told Joshua, let the book of the law never depart from you. Meditate upon it day and night and you shall prosper. Bonus if you So this year, any prayer request that you are praying, make sure you back it with the word of God. And the Holy Spirit is ready to help us. Bwana sifiwe. When Jesus was about to go, there is something powerful he said. He said, it is good that I may go so that the Holy Spirit may come. The Holy Spirit will teach you all truth. The Holy Spirit will teach you even the things to come. The Holy Spirit of God is God on earth and the power of God on earth. I want you to understand there is no miracle that can happen when the Holy Spirit has not done it. Are you hearing me? So today we are welcoming the Holy Spirit in our lives. Just as we welcome the angels of the Lord. And I'm telling you, on Wednesday I was praying for people here and I could see God assigning angels. The move of God was great in this house last Wednesday. Buona sifiwe san. We are a church that believes in the supernatural power of God. So the Holy Spirit is set to create miracles in our lives. The Holy Spirit is set to show you direction. The Holy Spirit is set because the angels of the Lord, they don't most of the time speak to people one on one. No, they only minister. But the Holy Spirit speaks the mind of God to us. Ah, uh, sifiwe. The Holy Spirit speaks the mind of God to us. I don't struggle to know the will of God. I don't struggle to know what God wants me to know now. I will only ask the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will reveal to me. Actually the Bible says he reveals even the things to come. Ah, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor I need him. Tell another neighbor I need him. When I was studying the book of Acts. I realized when the Holy Ghost came during the day of Pentecost in the upper room, when the power of God, the Holy Spirit came down. You know, the Holy Spirit is not the last one in Trinity. Akuangi the least. At your God, the Father. Uh -uh. The Holy Spirit actually is the big deal. Can I talk to you? The Holy Spirit is the big deal. Genesis chapter 1. Uh, please go Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. He is the big deal. And I want you to, to know the Holy Spirit in a way you have never known him. Do you know the Holy Spirit can help you even to the nitty gritty? Things that you can't even believe. Sometimes I lose something, Mama Joe, in my house. I lose my car keys. And I say, Holy Ghost, please direct me. And I will turn back and see it. One time it was so miraculous. I was looking, I think it was for my car keys or something. I nilitafuta kila mahali. Kila mahali. Wapendwa, this is a true testimony. Nikaka, nikainua mkono, nikasema, roho wa buwana, nisaidie, nipate hiyo funguo. Mama Cynthia, kastul kale kalikuwa hapo, na haka kukua na funguo, nikigeuka, niliona, nikama kamewekelewa na mtu. Unaelewa? So, we, unafikira tu Holy Spirit, kazi yake ni kuhil, what? Holy Spirit, ata ata kuambia, usipite hii barabara, unangojewa na wakora pale, zungukia hivi. Holy Ghost, listen. He's not the least. He is the big deal. He is God on earth. Wakati Yesu alikuwa duniani. Yesu tu alikuwa naweza kuwa Nazareth. Anatoka anaenda Galilaya. 
anatoka lakini sasa hangeweza kuwa kila mahali at the same time wakati alikuwa duniani akasema nikienda roho mtakatifu atakuwa so roho mtakatifu ako na sisi duniani ako kila mahali wakati wote hebu tumpigie makofi jamani he, wa, he did not begin working on earth when jesus was taken no he was there in creation and that's why i'm praying today in the name of jesus that the holy spirit will create a miracle for you I just want you to connect with the Holy Spirit that he will create a miracle for you. When I was here last Sunday, the power of God was so great on this altar. I remember hearing God standing next to me and telling me what to do. That is what I'm talking about. And he can do that to you. You don't have to struggle on earth. You don't have to bribe for things to work for you. You don't have to have a God father. For you to go to the next level. You don't have to know people anywhere. For your life to become better. You only need to connect with God. And when you connect with the Holy Spirit. Everything impossible becomes possible. I declare in the name of Jesus. That the Holy Spirit will help us this year. I declare in the name of Jesus. The power of God will walk with us this year. Whatever the devil is planning for evil. The Holy Ghost is going to destroy it in Jesus name. Hey, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. We cannot be blind. We cannot walk like carnal people. The Bible says to be carnal minded is death. But to be spiritual is life. Ah, I love you, Holy Ghost. Listen, the reason why I'm saying this with all of respect and humility. The reason why we make mistakes in so many important decisions like marriage is because we don't have time to ask the Lord, is he the one? One time, let me give you my testimony. I don't shy away to talk. One time, there was another man who wanted to marry me and he was divorced. I wanted to listen to my testimony very well. But the wife of this man wanted this the, the wanted her husband back i remember i went before the lord because i love families how many know i love families i've been doing couples dinners even before i got married i remember i began praying and i was not actually praying honestly it was 5 a.m in the morning it was on a sunday morning I remember I woke up in my meditation hour, 5 a.m. I turned and I felt the Holy Spirit ministering in my spirit. I had a clear voice. That man is married. Huh? I was with my friend. She had come to visit me, you know, Pastor Njeri. I woke her up and I said, guess what? As I was meditating on God's word, I had a voice that told me this. And she said, what? Obey. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we struggle. We fall into bad relationships. Nesazile zimearibika, tunasongea mungu. Oh, Jehovah, amenitoa meno. Oh, ya menda na macho yangu. Uliuliza Jehovah kabla ujanza? Nionge, nisionge. Sini vizuri ni wambie tuko na msaidizi. Kwa nini una struggle? Kwa nini una struggle peke yako? Roho mtakatifu ako. Na nangojea tumwambie roho wa Bwana. Jamaa mmoja alitoa testimony. Alikuwa amefungwa miaka nyingi sana kwa sababu ya crime. Wakati aliona maisha yake imeharibika na crime imeharibu maisha yake, anasema akiwa amefungwa, anapelekwa jela mara ya mwisho. Akiwa amefungwa akitembea Aliangalia tu juu akasema, God, help me. And he immediately he got help. Hakufungwa. Lewa na ubiri njili. Only one word, God, help me. The Bible says, the earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. The spirit I'm talking about 
He was there in Genesis. Verse 2. Let us continue. Then God said, let, let there be light. And there was light. Uh -huh. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. I don't want to read everything. But I want you to understand. When God spoke a word. Whoever was making things to happen. Is the Holy Spirit. Are you, are you seeing this? So in short. The Holy Spirit. Is the one. Oh, Shakato Saya was in charge of creation. I came to declare in the name of Jesus, the same Holy Spirit is together with us and the Holy Spirit will create our miracles. I say he will create a door. I say he will create a miracle. I don't want, I don't know what you want from the Lord, but I came as a servant of God and I came to declare, may the Holy Ghost, may the Holy Ghost, may the Holy Ghost, may the Holy Ghost create that miracle. The Bible says, Makatosi Allah, the Spirit of God was there hearing the voice of God. The angels of the Lord and the Spirit of the Lord, they work closely. Praise the Lord. So he was there before creation. And I'm here to tell you, we are not going to ignore him. He has been ignored for a long time. Ah, we don't want him because he makes people to fall. Fall and wake up healed. What is your problem? The Bible says in the day of Pentecost, walianguka wakalaliana, wakaangukiana. Sieri wanguke na uamuke na buwana. Amefkuzu wakanisani miakayote. Watu wataki kuenda kanisa roa natembea. Huyo pastor, anaombeanga watu anaanguka. My friend, hakuna mtu anaangukanga, anaamuka vile alianguka, unaamukanga tafauti. Na ndiyo kuna kuwa na instant healings. Kwa sababu roho, akikutengenezea miujiza. Ulisikia humama kitua testimony, huyu mama mzuri hapa akisema, alikuja hapa figo zake zilikuwa gonjwa na mimi ukiona ninatembea na kuja na kuwekelea mkono roho ananiambia wekelea huyu si kujua alikuwa na shida ya figo nikamwekelea mikono kwa tumbo na figo zake zikakuwa mpya hapo na hapo hatuwezi fungia roho nje nasema tutafungia roho nje nasema tutafungia roho nje roho mtakatifu chukua usukani hey haleluya Na alikuwa kwa creation. Ni kumaanisha katika katika kucreate hata mlango yako ifunguke. Ni yeye ana creating. Maandiko yanasema alikuwa anangojea tu sauti ya Mungu. Na ndio nimekuambia mwaka huu hakuna kuomba ile maombi unafikiria. Hadi oh baba, oh ah ah, chukua neno Lord, it is written. I shall not be the tail. I shall be the head. The Holy Spirit will hover over the words of God and he will perform a miracle. May he perform a miracle. I say may he perform a miracle. May he open that long awaited door. May he open that door for you. May he come through in your situation. May his power destroy every powers of darkness in Jesus name. May his power destroy every power of witchcraft and sorcery. May his power destroy every word spoken I came to declare the power of the Holy Ghost is taking over the church. The power of the Holy Ghost is taking over the church. The power of the Holy Ghost is taking over the church. It is no business as usual. Let the Holy Ghost reign. We are not going to put him outside. Hallelujah. He was there during creation. He is there in our times. And that's why coward people, coward people like Peter. Ha -ha. Peter was a coward when Jesus was dying on the cross. He was a coward. Hallelujah. Jama, ulikuwa na umse. Aizi. Aizi. 
Akaambozi yani unatembea kama mse. Ah! Zi. Lakini after Pentecost walisharabasoka ya taya. Wakarekatola ya taya. Wakasokereka la gadaya. Hey 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 hey. The Bible says after the Holy Ghost came upon them they went out in power and in boldness and declared salvation. I came to declare today to every person that is under the sound of my voice the Holy Ghost is taking over. The Holy Ghost A coward man. Coward. Alitokelezea mama jo. Akasema. Siniwe yesu mulisurubisha. Alikuwa naongea watu wanoko ka 3,000. Hapana cheza na roho. Oh, roho abwana. Hey. He's taking over latter glory. I serve you a notice. From now henceforth. Nobody will minister to you. But he's coming to minister to you. Yeah. Hello, Shataya. The Holy Spirit is not a wind. The Holy Spirit is a person. Yeah. Those that are blessed like us, we have seen him. He's a person. He has personalities. Ooh. Our comforter. Our comforter. Praise the Lord. I might not be able to, to, to finish talking about the Holy Spirit today. But I want you to. I'm serving you a notice. You have not seen him yet. Wacha hile tunangukanga hapa. Mutakuwa muna ingia kwa hii church. Muna mpata anewangojea. Hapa. Una ingia ukiwa mgonjwa. You know it is happening. When you come to this church, usiingia kama umeregea-regea, jua roo mtakatifu anakungojea. Whatever victory you desire on earth is here to offer it to us. And I declare he shall offer it to us. I declare he shall offer it to us. The Holy Spirit is taking over. Ah, one time, you all know that one time I was divorced. <laughs> Let me just talk as the Spirit of God leads. And I cried because it was a surprise. Though God had prepared me, the Lord had spoken to me directly through his servants. But it is never easy because I'm also human. So I remember I cried then nothing could have soothed me. I even sought a counselor. You know, the counselor was not available. But I remember I came up stairs. That is the time nilijua. Ukiona mtu anavaa vibaya vibaya. Watu wanavaanga vile wanasikia. Nilienda nikawekwa nywele ya red. Na maisha yangu sijaiwekwa nywele ya red. Sasa nilikuwa nawekwa ya nini? Only God knows. Nikashuka downstairs. Nikakaa kwa kiti nikajishika hivi. Nikingojea rafiki yangu Pastor Susan na kuja. Nikasikia, aa ah, suza na kakuja. Haka jaribu kuniambia mresh. Unajua sinu mademo mtani, mresh. Si unajua bana, kangumu. Ni, kuna vitu wezi kangumu. Kuachwa ni moja yao. Tuonge, tusionge. Sinionge vile hiko. Ati, oh, be strong. We, wacha mtu walie. Wacha tu walie. Baka mungu wa mponya. Nikakapu, haka kuja, haka ongea mawili, matatu, haka lala. Niko na jani saidia akaishia Mi nikarudi hapo chini Nikasikia sauti na niambia Don't you know That the Holy Spirit is a comforter That means I sourced for help from wrong people There and there I said Holy Ghost Please take over Nikasikia ni mianguka kwa carpet pa Wacha ni udumie Nanyia muku jua Sande nilikuwa pa nikiwa imbita Oh glory ni kuhudumiwa na roho mtakatifu. Wewe endelea hapo kukaa na heartbreak. <laughs> Samanga mimi 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 me I don't have soft spot for men. Mimi I don't want they have they have broken my heart. He broke my heart. I'm loved again. So what? The Holy Spirit will heal you and you will move on. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost. Pray 
says the Lord in Judges 3, Judges chapter 3, verse 10 to 14, the spirit of the Lord was upon this guy and he was able to judge Israel. I'm just paraphrasing because there's something I want to say before we finish. You know, by one, we should be here out of here. Have you put it? Brilliant, how are you? Judges chapter 3. Brilliant is single and very saved. In case you feel the Lord, I want just to. I, I'm waiting for it. Okay, let let. Is Imekwama? Aya. Judges chapter three verse ten. Write it down to fourteen. Praise the Lord. I just want to. The Bible says the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel. He went out of war. Uh, he went out to war, and the Lord delivered Kushat, Rishtaim, king of Mesopotamia into his hand and his hand prevailed over Kushan and the other name Muna nisumbua nishinde nikisema yote yani hakuna haja ya kumalizia iko hapo inaitwa vile inaitwa but let me tell you it is the spirit of God that came upon him and he was able to win war Rom takatifu akiingilia vita zako Utakaa chini yaone ya uone akipigana ya akikupigania kwa maadui. Nataka leo wachilie maisha yako kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Leo nimekuja kukuambia tuachilie maisha yetu Roho Mtakatifu. Biblia inasema akamjaza, akaweza kujaza huyo judge na akampigania maadui wale walikuwa nainuka kinyume chake. Roho Mtakatifu hajaanza leo. Hakukuja wakati tu wa Yesu alikuwa hata in the Old Testament. Bwana asifiwe. Unakumbuka vile alijaa Samson? Eh? Samson alikuwa anakutana ana na na Job on peke yake mama Job. And the Bible says and the spirit of God came upon him. And the spirit of God came upon him. Now, the spirit of God is not coming upon us. The spirit of God lives in us. That's the difference. Bwana asifiwe. And I want to assure you that from next Sunday kujanga umejianda hapa hujawahi anguka na hedi okohua niliambia roho mtakatifu hata ukituangushanga sisi wote na tuamuke tukiwa na magari sieri kuanguka watu wampendi tena watu wapendangi sana kuongea in tongues na ndio unaona hata kuna denomination ukiongea in tongues wanakuambia you don't belong to us hao wanataka kusoma maombi wasome maombi wasome wimbo Na kuna saro mtakatifu hata we mwenye ukiwa kwa nyumba yako. Hata kupatia kawimbo kawushindi. Na usikia ndani yako umeanza kuimba. Oh, sita ogopa, sita ogopa. Na roo mtakatifu wame... Mimi ananilidingi sana. Ninaimba kwa wimbo, ananiongoza. Tunapata ushindi kwa wimbo. Tunapata na anakuongoza maombi. Unajua ile maombi watu wanaombanga bila kuongozwa na roho. Haikuangi na results. Siju kama unanielewa. Ukifanya urafiki na roho. Utaona amekuletea mtu anakuambia ombea jimi. Unaombea jimu ukimpigia simu jimi unaendeleaje pasta? Nilikuwa nimepata msiba kidogo ni Mungu amenisaidia. Karibu hata nikufe. Nema nilikuwa nimepata ajali. Roho mtakatifu ako hapa na Roho mtakatifu anachukua lata glory. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kazi yetu ni kukuja na kumwambia karibu roho fanya mapenzi ya Bwana na tukimwambia hapa magonjo itakuwa inadondoka kwa mili ya watu watu ataokoka bila kuitwa au takol kwa maana roho mtakatifu atachukua sukani wacha niongee tu mambo mawili kuhusu roho mtakatifu tutaongea on Wednesday na rukaruka kidogo because of time kazi za roho mtakatifu na namba ya kwanza Romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 The Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Bwana asifiwe. Anatusaidiaga kwa udhaifu wetu. Andika chini. John 14. Nilikuwa nataka kwenda into details but on Wednesday ukuje mapema tuongelee mambo ya roho. Kwa sababu on Wednesday kama uja, you don't speak in tongues. Come ready. Tutakuombea mpaka urosa kata labakaya. Na kama upendi kuanguka utaanguka. Hakuna mtu anagusangwa na roho Pastor Kalix anakosa kutoa kanduru Roho ni power Bwana asifiwe Na leo nasikia kuna watu watajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu 
Nasikia kuna watu atajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Anatamani kuingia ndani yako. Anatamani kufanya vitu katika maisha yako. It is only by the Holy Ghost that we can make it in life. Huwezi toboa. Huwezi. Maandiko inasema and you shall hear a voice saying this is the way. Walk ye in it. Roho Mtakatifu ni mwalimu. Roho Mtakatifu ni comforter. Roho Mtakatifu anatusaidia kwa unyonge wetu. Roho Mtakatifu anatufundisha mambo. Biblia inasema even the deep things of God. Na nitaenda details the Roho Mtakatifu. Ni vile leo Masai imeenda. Tutaongea one by one mpaka ifike mahali sisi wote hapa tujazwe na roho. Na tuanze kuongea na lugha ya binguni. Kwa sababu hizo hiyo lugha mashetani yawasikie yangi. Ukitaka shetani asisikie unaombea nini? Una switch into tongues. Rokaya bokatela ya taya na unaitisha bwana hapa chache badala ya embarrassment unajua kuna watu kanisani wanasikilizanga maombi ya mtu wanasikia waisha anaomba gani wanasimama karibu wanasikia oh ameteswa na bibi unaona kwa sababu walikuwa wanasikia lakini kama unateswa na bibi na ukuje hapa useme rokaya bakotalaya shekatosi katayaba nani anajua umeteswa Hiyo ni benefit namba moja ya roba. Bana ukiona tu mtu wa Mungu amegeukia tanks, kuna kitu anasema. Ni vile hataki usikie. Halo! Wangapi wanasema tutachazwa na roho? Wangapi wanasema roho njo? Haleluya! Atatusaidia kwa mambo mengi. Roho atakufungua macho. Utakuwa na rafiki wa karibu ambao anakuchimba chimba. chimba. Roho anakuletea anakuambia adui usimtafute mahali pengine ni huyu. Unaona maisha ya kuongozwa na roho? Maisha ya kuongozwa na roho hata kuna mahali utaenda. Unaenda kutoka unasikia roho anakuambia baki. Wapendwa nimeamua 2022 tutafanikiwa kwa vyovyote vile. Tutahusisha roho mtakatifu kwa ndoa zetu. Nilikuja kujua ndoa bila roho by the way urembo haisustain ndoa. Chakula mzuri hai sustain ndoa. Chakula mzuri bi hai sustain ndoa. Kumbe ndoa ina sustainiwa na hekima ya Mungu. Nilikuja kujua watu wana vatroza. Kuishi nao si rahisi. Wangapi wadada wanasema it is not easy. Hao watu wakasirika hujui. Wakikwazika hujui. So unahitaji tu karibu ro. Fanya mabenzi. Ndio ukienda kuongea kitu ugonge ndipo. No, wangapi wako na mimi? Hata wanaume wanasema hawaelewani hii jenda. Kweli si kweli? Hatuelewani. So Roho Mtakatifu ndiye atakwambia saa hii si saa ya kuitisha kiatu. Saa hii waisha anafanya campaign. Ana bibi anakuja anakwambia unajua sweet babe nataka viatu. Yaani roho anakuambia ametoa 30000 leo wacha atulie. Shida yako ile inafanya atu laleta shida. Hatujui saa ya kuomba pesa, hatujui saa ya kelele ni gani. Na nakwambia roho mtakatifu atanyorosha ndoa za hii kanisa hivi. Ha moreta na gabe. Mtakuwa he. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. Hapa roho mtakatifu atatunyoroshea watoto. Utakohoanga hivyo nasema yes ma. Hapa tunamwachia kila kitu leo kwa jina la Yesu. Wangapi wanasema roho tawala? The Bible says now he who searches the heart knows what is in the mind of the spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Roho mtakatifu atakuletea mpaka will ya Mungu. Utakuwa unaomba, labda unaombea prado saa hii. Roho anakuambia hapana, ombea kwanza pikipiki. Na ukiitisha pikipiki sasa hiyo kesho iko kwa mlango. Chida ni kwa sababu ulizangi roho uombee nini kwanza. Unasema oh, baba yangu mimi naomba Prado na hata hujawahi nunua vits. Na sisemi hawezi kukupatia. Nasema roho atakuonyesha the will of the Father and it is those ones that pray the will of God get results. Sio kila kitu unaweza ombea saa hii. Maisha ina level na class. Kuna watu wako na 1 million kwa account. Wakiomba Mungu awaongezee pesa na Mungu awe gari mzuri inaeleweka. Na sisemi si atuwezi kuitisha Prado. Wacha tuende na order. From glory 
No, nimekukwaza julikuwa unaitisha VA tawa. No. From glory kuna saa utaanza kuombea mtoto wako akue engineer na ashikangi kitu. Unasikia tu roho anakuambia muombe akue tailor. Wacha kukubishana na roho, anaweza kuwa international designer. Yeah. Ninasema kitu ama sisemi. Unaweza sema Mungu mimi nataka mtu wa six pack, tall, marusha tire, dark, handsome. Amejaza kujaza. Roho anakuambia Ninakupatia mtu mfupi mnono round. <laughs> Kwa sababu roho yake ni kama kio. Niseme nisiseme. Madilo nasema ni yeye anatusaidia kuomba mapenzi ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Mama John rahu jiaweka. Si afadhali tujiachilie ndio tuombe right. Yeah. Oh God, you know me, Father, my class. Me, I cannot marry jobless man. Ma, I'm telling you, Lord, you know me. Uh, Mungu anakupeletea mtu jobless alafu anakuambia, this man in him is a great governor. He's gonna one day be a governor of Kajiado County. Lakini vile anakaa, huyu hata is kwa chief. <laughs> you know, but people that believe God for God to lead their will they get results na wakuangi frustrated kwa maombi maombi inaletanga frustration wakati pastor Liza anataka kuenda in tv na hajaenda hizi tv ndogo ndogo akiitwa hizi ndogo ndogo anasema pass i'm not available na akotu hapa kwa office pass mbaga nienda in tv pass tunaanzanga kutengenezewa ushuhuda na Mungu anakupeleka kwanza zile ndogo ndogo ndio siku moja ukienda ku encourage watu Unawambia mi kuna mali nilienda Dandora. Nikaimba the whole day. Nikapewa tano ya fare hata maji siku nunuliwa. Unaanza kuwa encourage. Kwa hivyo wapendwa roho mtakatifu anatufanyia maombi kulingana na mapenzi ya Bwana. Je, inaweza kuwa kile unaomba haikuangi kwa mapenzi ya Bwana ndio ujaona matokeo? Leo tunaambia roho katika maombi yetu ingilia. Na akiingilia utaanza kupata Unaombea watoto wako vile hata we unashindwa nilikuwa namuombea hivyo kwa nini kwa maana roho anakusaidia na intercession naomba kwa jina la Yesu kila mmoja ambaye ameketi hapa roho mtakatifu akuongoze nasema roho mtakatifu akuongoze watu wanapoteza pesa kwa mabiashara una unasikia huyu ametajirikia biashara fulani na wewe unakimbiza pesa yako unaweka kwa hiyo biashara lakini roho wakukuongoza mimi niliitwa na Mungu kitambu Nikaanza kuenda kwa mataifa, nikaenda kwa mataun, sikuwa najua rongai, nilikuwa nimekuja rongai mara moja peke yake na roho akaniambia enda rongai. Na tangu nikuje rongai sijateseka. Kwa sababu niliongozwa na nani? Na roho, we ujaongozwa na roho, ndio unaona unakuwa na multiple heartbreak, multiple disappointment, multiple yani maisha yako yote ni kulia kila wakati, oh Mungu watu hawanipendi. Wa ni roho mtakatifu ukimwachilia mpaka akupatie mke. Ah, ni vile sometimes sisi wenyewe tunajiongoza. Maandiko inasema anatusaidia kuomba. Na katika maombi yako utajua mapenzi ya Mungu. Ukienda mbele za Bwana asubuhi tunakujanga hapa. Pastaliza na niambianga mama ile ibada ya 7 AM. Kila wakati nikikuja 7 AM lazima nisikie umeconfirm kitu Mungu alikuwa amenionyesha. Kwa sababu mimi nikisimama hapa naambianga Roho Mtakatifu leo hata vile Waisha amekuja it was in, plan, in the plan of God. Kwa maana niliomba nikaambia Roho Mtakatifu leo chukua usukani kile kitafanyika kanisani kitakuwa kimeongozwa na wewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kile namaanisha ni hivi hata ukiingia kwa maombi ukiwa na prayer points Sometimes ni vizuri kuweka prayer point zako kando na kumwambia Roho Mtakatifu nisaidie niombe mapenzi ya Bwana. Na sometimes utajipata unaombea vitu. Unasikia unaombea mtu, mtu ni kama alikuwa aukufe unasema she shall not die, she shall not die. Unaomba alafu unasikia oh mam nilikuwa nimepata kaajali ka boda boda na Mungu alikuwa amekutanguliza kumuombea. Naomba 2022 Roho Mtakatifu atusaidie kwa area ya maombi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na wapendwa na, kuwa, na kuambia ukiachilia roho. Kuna mambo mingi tunafanyanga mistake. Mistake charity. Mistake. Especially kwa investment. Wakati moja miaka ya kitambo. Nilikoniwa 200,000. 
na nilikoniwa nikisikianga tu roho nilipo tutuma hiyo pesa hivi nikishuka roho mtakatifu akaniambia umeibiwa badala nirudi western union ni cancel the transaction hata mimi nikajamu hata mimi nikajamu na doa yangu ikaenda kwa sababu ya kutoku obey kuna watu hapa labda wamefanya mistake na mwaka huu tunaambia Mungu hatutakoniwa halo hatutaibiwa hatutavunjwa moyo hatutakuwa na watu wicked katikati yetu roho mtakatifu atatusaidia jinsi ya kuomba hebu inamisha kichwa chako chini kwa ajili ya muda mwambie roho akaribie mwambie roho mtakatifu karibu mwambie roho mtakatifu karibu enda mbele za bwana Oh, kwa sababu ya muda poleni kwa kuwakaisha lakini enda mbele za Bwana. Roho mtakatifu na kualika kwa maombi yangu. Roho mtakatifu na kualika kwa maombi yangu. Enda mbele za Bwana. Ukiongozwa na roho, maombi yako itakuwa tofauti. Ukiongezwa na roho, wili ya Mungu itachukua usukani. Oh, shakaya tolakaya. Nasikia kuna watu hapa unahitaji tu align into God's will na utaona maisha yako ikibadilika. Mwambie Bwana let your will be done. Let the Lord let your will be done. Let your will be done in my life as it is in heaven oh God. Let your will be done Jehovah Jireh. Let your will be done. Go before the Lord and pray. Tell the Lord to do his will. Tell the Lord to do his will. Shaka ya tarabahanda. Rosika ya tola bahaya. Rikaya ndo dabashaya. Go before the Lord. The Holy Spirit is here. Oh my ato saya. This week our prayers are going to be different. They are going to be led by the Holy Spirit. When you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, the Holy Spirit will cause you to intercede according to the will of the Father. You will intercede according to the will of the Father. We are not going to hold our prayer point all the time, but we are telling the Holy Spirit of God, come and take over. Come and take over. Come and take over our prayers. Come and take over our will. We want the will of God in our lives. We want the will of God in our lives. We want the will of God in our lives. Shakara baganda, rakasoka yada la doshaya. Go before the Lord and begin to pray. Oh ya tola saya, rikayanto la bahanta. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in this house. We will never lead ourselves. We will never talk our words. We will never pray our prayers. We allow you to help us in intercession. We allow you to help us in prayer. We don't want to talk the old tongues that we have crammed over the time. We want new tongues that you're going to release to us. Shakaya tora lato yada sataya. Go before the Lord. The hand of shataya. Rika yota lama rakataya. Rika soka rahato lakaya. Pray that the will of God takes over. Pray the will of God takes over your prayer. Pray the will of God takes over. Marosa kataya. When we allow the Holy Spirit, we are going to get results. I hear God speak to my heart. When we allow the Holy Spirit, we are going to have results. Results in our places of work. Results in our marriages. Results. Marosa kataya. Rando shatala baganda. We bless your name, O God. We bless your name, King of Glory. We bless your name, Jehovah Jireh. We bless your name, Jehovah Shama. Oh, Yatala Makataya. Oh, Holy Spirit, take over. Everybody that is going to be praying in this house this week, Holy Spirit, we pray that you may take over. Chokulia Maombietu. Chokulia Maombietu. Tuakapo Fungua Kinwa. Tukianza Kuomba. Bwana Tunaomba Mapenzi Abwana. Tunaomba Mapenzi Abwana. Tunaomba Mapenzi Abwana. Shatara Balaba Shanda. Rekete Rebe Shatalaba. Rantula Bazakara Dada Dahaya. Keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying. Keep on praying. Rodo Shataya Ka. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Oh, we want to see the will of God prevail over latter glory. We release ourselves to the will of God. We release ourselves to the power of God. Oh, Shana Rode Sataya. Rokoyata Labaganta. Rasotaya Bakaya. Rantoli Barado Shataya. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. We release ourselves to you. Yakaro na Shataya. Ranto Salada Bashaya. We bless your holy name. Ayona na 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 na. She can da 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 da. If you know how to speak in tongues, I can't stop it until I feel the Holy Ghost saying that's it. Okarosha, Taya, Dosaya.
speak in tongues, speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Rakadosha Taya, just to tell the Holy Ghost, we have released you in this house. We have released you, our captain. We have released you, Lord God of Israel. We have released you, Holy Spirit, to take over. We have released you, Holy Spirit, to take over. Hey, Shatana Bosaya. Hey, Shakaya Kumakataya. Hey, Rosoko Roboro Shataya. Come on, talk in tongues if you know. Talk in tongues if you know. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is taking over. The Holy Ghost is taking over. The Holy Ghost is taking over. Rado Shakaya. Rakando Rado Shakana no Sitaya. you to build this church we allow you to do the will of the father in here I will be praying for people after the service we need to take the holy communion baba yetu tunaombea mwili huwa kristo na damu hii ya yesu kristo Anza kujiandaa kuchukua meza ya Bwana ni mwanzo wa mwezi. They overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. In this life you cannot make it without Jesus. Life is not what you see with your physical eyes. Life is spiritual. You need the covering of God. You need the help of God. You need Jesus to help you in this wicked world. You need the hand of God to rest upon your life for you to overcome the devil. And before we take the Holy Communion, kama uko hapa na ujaokoka na unataka kutolea maisha yako Yesu, inua mkono tukuombe kama ujaokoka. Na kama haujaokoka usikule meza ya Bwana. Kama haujaokoka don't take the Holy Communion. Kuna mtu anataka kuokoka? Kabla sijaendelea kupeana meza ya Bwana tutaendelea na mambo ya roho mtakatifu deeply kuanzia Wednesday kwa sababu lazima watu watajazwa na roho hapa kuna mtu anataka kuokoka kunaye baba yetu tunakushukuru tukija kuchukua mwili huu wa Kristo na damu ya Yesu tunaomba Bwana utubariki tutakapokula pamoja your word says whosoever shall eat my flesh and drink my blood will have life in them and you will raise us up when you come and we shall have eternal life. We remember your death on the cross today. Everything you did for us. And we ask you Lord, let your blood work in us the whole month and your flesh in Jesus name. Tutakuja kuchukua tu kwa hiyo kuna kila kila roho ina mtu kuja uchukue meza ya Bwana.
kuleta chochote aidha mkebu kati ya madamu unaweza inua mkono kama kuna mtu hajapata tuinamishe vitu vyetu chini just bow down your head to the lord as we honor the flesh and the lamb of uh, the blood of jesus father we thank you for this blood that has given us life thank you lord for the flesh of the lamb of god that heals our sicknesses kindly bow down and pray i don't know what you want from the lord but you can speak to this blood and this flesh to work for you it has power i had already prayed for this blood and this flesh so just pray that whatever you want to see lord as i break the bread and drink your blood i want to have eternal life after this life i want to abide in you and your word abides in me I want to love you from the bottom of my heart. I want to serve you. I want to honor you and I want to appreciate you all the days of my life. Shara, I'm giving you time to pray. It is not going to be a usual holy communion if you pray for it and you tell the Lord through your communion may you heal my body. Through your communion may this blood heal me. May this bl blood destroy the works of the devil in me and my life. May this blood speak better things in my life. May I be close to you, Lord, and may I see your goodness. In Jesus' name, may you break the flesh. Break it. Take it. May you drink the blood of Jesus. You can stand up on your feet. You can put the cup on the chair because you're not going to be sitting again. Stand up. Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your flesh. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Holy Spirit, that you may take over our lives. That everybody that needs to be filled by you, Holy Spirit, may they be filled in the name of Jesus. May you work in us, our God take over our lives mighty holy spirit may you take over our lives mighty holy spirit that even lord from now henceforth the whole of this year we open the door for you mighty holy ghost that you may take over that you may take over our lives take over our intercessions take over our minds take over everything that concerns our lives in jesus name we have prayed somebody say amen may the lord bless you may the lord keep you May he be gracious to you. May his face shine upon you. And may the Lord give you peace. See you on Wednesday. Please, ni chukuliwa wageni at least wakunyo kajuis pale kwa jina la Yesu. Tupigio bwana Yesu makofi tunapo enda nyumbani. Mambo sawa sawa. Mambo sawa sawa. Kapos, 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 kapos. Wale wameowana na wameolewa. Kusitoke kama umeoa na umeolewa. Dakika moja tu yako. One minute.